Alrighty, welcome back. This is the last video in this Marmoset tutorial series about texturing and applying texture projects and materials. So today we're going to talk about exporting textures, exporting models, and adjustment. We left off in the texture window. We also are going to click back to our classic. You can see our grenade texture, which is the one we baked into. We have the ability to do slight tweaks to this, just like most of us would be able to um, in standard Marmoset. If you wanted a sky, you can click. You can import a new sky. If you go back to texture, you can see we have a whole skies thing. Double click, it'll download. Make sure there's no cloud. Double click again or drag in and it'll uh, apply your, your HDRI map. If we come back to classic, you can see, let's say I wanted to export this file. Export. Marmoset Viewer is a viewing software supported by Marmoset. WebGL is a web browser uh, supported format. Model will allow you to choose OBJ or FBX. Scene Bundle is a Marmoset file that bakes in all the materials and textures. That way you can transfer it to somebody else without breaking the link or the, the pathway to those textures. So let's choose Model File. I don't want to bake the lights. Uh, you can have the material if you want or you can embed the textures. So we're, I'm just going to turn it all off for now. You can choose what you'd like. Hit export. From here, I'm gonna choose Marmoset. Okay, grenade underscore Marmo. You can drop down. You can OBJ. I am not familiar with that. Or and uh, let's go FBX. And you can save. Yep, replace it. Boom, done. You can. I would suggest selecting just the low poly, not the high end low poly. Um, that way, that's probably what you want. Uh, after that, if we want to export textures, you can come down to the actual bake project called Grenade. Looks like a little easel. From here, you're gonna scroll down. You can see that we have the maps that we created, which is an albedo map, RBG. We're going to export a Targa, 8-bit. Okay, we're going to, it's an albedo map, so you have the different drop downs of what it is. This is the naming convention, underscore albedo. We have a normal, which is an RBG plus alpha, but the alpha is empty. You could bake in a, a roughness map in here, and that could be used in Unreal Engine because the alpha in the norma, normal is used for roughness in Unreal. And then you have this mix map that we have right here, which is R plus G plus B. So it's separating each of these values. So in the red is ambient, green is roughness, and blue is metal. Each of these maps are black and white maps, so it can be supported like this. So all of those will be selected. We just need to select which channel we want to pull everything out, okay? As you can see over here, it's applying this just the red channel, okay? Um, all right, so what we want to do is we want to select where we want this to go. We're going to go ahead and select Marmo Tutorial, Grenade Textures. I'm going to call this Grenade underscore just like it is up there. Hit Save. Now that we have our place, we're going to check our file size. I want it, let's say, two, four, yeah, let's go 2K for now. 2K, everything down here is looking good. If you wanted to add another one, you could add it. Adjust it to what you want, what kind of map you want, so on and so forth. I don't. And just hit Export All and then it's going to export them. And there they are, which is really nice. From here, you are done. You are able to bring that into Unreal or Unity or Maya or 3ds Max. You're able to have the texture maps and just apply them to the material breakdown the way that it is. Other than that, I don't have anything else. Marmoset Toolbag being an all-inclusive buy, buying software, you don't have to pay monthly. It's a very powerful texturing software. I think it's not quite up to the level of Substance Painter, but Substance Painter has been out for years. Marmoset, is this is their first iteration. I think it's extremely powerful. I think it's great to be able to texture in the same rendering software that you use. And a lot of people are using Marmoset for rendering. It's very powerful and simple. I think that it's nice that, that you own it. Marmoset 3 was out for three years before Marmoset 4, so you owned all of the updates within 3. Uh, so if this even has half that lifespan, that's a year and a half of updates on this texture software. So I think it'll only get better. I think it's a great deal. I would highly suggest it. If you want me to create any more videos, if you want me to create any specific things, whether it's texturing faces, creating of hair or hair cards for video games, leave, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed or found any of these videos, tutorials on Substance Painter Marmoset useful, please subscribe and click like. It will help me out. Until next time, thank you so, so much. Have a good one.